don't care about the others You set my world on fire You're my heart's desire When lights go out You're in my mind I close my eyes So it's just you and I And I tell myself You'll be back again Walk into my life and change what I thought it meant to be alive It's crazy how you went from being just some girl I didn't know you, I didn't even know me I was a soldier, I was a one-man army I thought the future didn't apply to me And when I met you, come on I was 23 and Oh, now you're every May my hands be the hands you hold on to When you let go of everything else May my arms be the arms that you fall into When the night gets too heavy to hold by yourself If you're looking for a safe place to land I will guide you home And if the levy of your life Breaks all your plans You'll never be alone If you dance with me Feel my heart beat through your body To your feet If you dance It's you and me against the world If I'm your man, you and my girl will win you see if you dance with me May my shoulder be the shoulder you rest your head on Christian entered this world, his smile lit up the room, 
and his eyes were filled with wonder. I knew his life was going to be amazing. Then he met Alexandra. She was the missing piece. His eyes seemed brighter, his smile seemed bigger. The more I got to know her, I saw them together. I could tell she is the perfect match. Before I knew it, my baby boy was in love. And he had the found the one that found his one. Today we celebrate another amazing step in their future together. My blessing to my son and his lovely wife. May you continue to grow together in love. I wish that, to, that today is just the first of many happy days as a married couple. As each day passes, I hope you learn to cherish each other more and more. May your love only grow stronger as time passes. And may you grow old and happy together. Today is a moment, and they now have the rest of forever to spend together in happiness. To the happy couple. Yeah. 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 And the father of the bride, Alexandra. Alexi, <laughs> AKA Joey. <laughs> a lot of people don't know about the Joey part. I know Christian just found out a few years ago and kind of looked at Alexi. Why should I call you Joey? <laughs> and it goes back from when she was younger, and once in a while I got the opportunity to dress her. And uh, I would put the onesie, overalls, gym shoes on, and we'd go out a little bit. She's like four years old or so. And people would look at her, thinking it was a him, and so oh, he's a really cute boy. What's his name? And I just kind of rolled my eyes. It's Joey. <laughs> Anyway, thank you very much for coming out here to spend your time, especially on a Saturday evening, to um, celebrate Chris's and Lexi's marriage. It's a little harder than Lexi. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Sure is, my Chris is quite a guy. He likes all sports, not just one game. It's fun to talk to him about it. He knows all the facts. If he doesn't, he'll find them out real quick. And uh, he's got a talent that surprised me. We had a trampoline in our backyard. And the kids outgrew it. Chris has got two little brothers, and he wanted it. So I go, well, we take it apart, bring it over, and set it up. And the next day, he came over with his mother in tow. And he took it apart, and was watching all parts going here, parts going there. And they hauled it away, and the next day I was gonna stop by and help them put it together. I get there and it's already up and the kids are bouncing on it. I look down and go, how did you remember where all those bolts and tops and springs went on a trampoline? It's 10 pages of instructions. So I took a few pictures, I just remembered it. From that day forward, I go, oh, this guy, he's got quite a memory. <laughs> and then afterwards, we sat in the backyard, Brad, Jerry, Jason, good people to be around, especially at a backyard barbecue. And then there's Nancy. <laughs> She's kind of like the backbone of the family. She keeps us all together and pretty much in line. And it's, it's hard. And um, Lexi stuck to Nancy. It's just like a little where there's one, there was the other. And she would just be everywhere. And when Chris came into the family, it was, um, you could tell in the Lexi, it's just that that was the boy that she wanted to spend that much time with. And they make such a great couple. And it's just a beautiful thing. And I'm very proud of both of you. I'd like to propose a toast to Chris. <laughs> Chris and Lexi. As previously announced, my name is Brittany. <laughs> Let me first say it's an honor to have the opportunity to get this toast for my best friend, Lexi. She's an amazing person, and I couldn't be happier that she found her perfect match. 
For those of you who don't know me well, Lexi and I met at ACO five years ago and have been inseparable ever since. I think we've literally talked every single day since then. <laughs> what most of you don't know is that when we're bored at work, we book random conference rooms <laughs> and attempt to learn the 50 states that rhymes on, <laughs> which if you don't know it, Get me a drink over there and I'll sing it for you, but I will be honest, I can only get to Michigan. <laughs> In honor of that, I thought I'd share 50 reasons why I love the happy couple. Yeah. I do have that many, maybe 100. <laughs> One, they've shown me how patient love should be. Two, they support each other and their passions. Three, their commitment to each other inspires all of us what true love can be. You guys didn't really think I'd list 47 more reasons, did you? <laughs> Lexi, Chris, you are a tr uh, truly meant for each other. I love you both. Now let's raise our glasses and toast to happiness for the bride and groom. Four stole and seven beers ago. Oh, <laughs> I had to do the accent too. Uh, hi everyone, I'm the best man Chris could find, Joe. Uh, Chris and I started our journey together in fifth grade playing basketball, which I just got confirmed was also Jerry was coach. Uh, we have played many sports together and went to college together too. Uh, the way me and Chris became roommates was I saw Chris post on Facebook that he was going to NIU, and I saw him in the hall and said, hey, are you going to NIU too? Want to be roommates? <laughs> and thus, the bromance was born. And that's a legit true story, that's how it happened. That's about it. Uh, turns out that that started a very crazy four years. Throughout college, we had a lot of ups and, down, and some downs, but, there were, or, but we were there for each other through all of them. Chris, your ability to switch between goofy and serious is unmatched. I, <laughs> see, he's laughing around. I always have a good time with you and love your ability to also have deep conversations at 3 in the morning about the movie War Dogs. <laughs> it has been an honor to grow up next to you and to husbands and professionals, even if your family couldn't believe I graduated. <laughs> it's also a true story. That's a true story. Yeah. Lexi, our college personal chef, you look amazing and I'm glad you were able to use my wedding to try all your hair. <laughs> That's, that's why I texted you then. <laughs> I've always admired your drive and willingness to help others. You are the person that keeps Chris and myself sometimes in line so that we can continue to have fun for years to come. They say behind every great man is a woman, and in your case, that cannot be further from the truth. I am honored to be the best man at this incredible wedding. Your future is bright, and I could not imagine you two being with anyone else. You make each other better and complement each other extremely well. In the words of the greatest musician of all time, Drake, sometimes it's a journey that teaches you a lot about your destination. We are all excited to see what the future holds for you. Best of luck and much love. And a toast to the bride and groom.
Watch me, Nene. Watch me, Nene. Break your legs. Break your legs.